Yeah, that is that's some tough, tough stuff to see. That is for sure, especially when you look at our situation. We've gotten a lot of rain lately. In fact, we set a rainfall record today. This is the most on this date ever at GSP. Over three and a half inches fell this afternoon. The old record was 1.72, so we blew it out of the water. And you know, I had a lot of folks comment on Facebook that you were not surprised uh, that we broke this record because there was just so much standing water around. Uh, the rain was so torrential to drive through today. And we could go through that again tomorrow as these storms are going to pack a lot of moisture. Right now, though, luckily just seeing a little bit of light rain from southern Spartanburg County down toward Abbeville, Anderson, Northeast Georgia, seeing some scattered light rain. Uh, and you can see it's kind of shriveling up. We're going to see a lot of this diminish after midnight so that the morning should be mostly dry. But we do have a frontal boundary kind of hanging out across the area that could help to spark off more rain. Even tomorrow morning could have a couple spots. I'll show you that on future cast. But we've cooled down with all that rain. We're already down to basically our overnight low. It's not going to get much cooler than this. 72 in Spartanburg, 70 up in Asheville. And tonight, right around 72, that's pretty much the temperature it is in most spots. Uh, again, it's going to hold steady with a few light showers overnight. 60s for you in western North Carolina. Tomorrow, it gets hot again, but we're not expecting it to be into the low to mid-90s, just right around 90 in the upstate and 86 for the mountains with those storms bubbling up in the afternoon. Here's what it will feel like because it is so oppressively humid south of 85. It will feel like close to 100 along the 85 corridor, a mid 90s feel in some spots and a little bit better in the mountains. That's where the rain will begin a little earlier, help to cool things down. Here's a look at future cast late tonight. Notice things are quiet, but in the morning we might get a couple of showers. Again, there's a boundary that's just hanging out and could help to spark off a new development early in the morning, but it's going to be the heat of the day that will really get the storms popping up. You can see that ha happening around three o'clock. A few in the mountains, few down toward the southern upstate, but not quite the coverage of what we had today, uh, even though I do think we'll have some heavy downpours. You can see some of that at 7 p.m. Tuesday evening. So if you've got plans to grill out tomorrow night, just be aware there will be some pockets of heavy rain. Then all that's going to fall apart and eventually we're going to notice a drier pattern. Notice Wednesday, it's really looking a lot less active. In fact, hardly even finding anything popping up there. But with that will come some hot temperatures that will be uh, moving into the forecast. So we'll go from right around 90 with a 50% chance of rain to 95 on Thursday and Friday. Only a 20% chance of rain to end the week. We'll see some pop up showers and storms toward a Saturday and Sunday, but no washouts. It still look like some good pool days or lake, whatever you choose to do in the mountains. Good chance of afternoon storms tomorrow and then it gets drier and hotter even in the mountains. I'm expecting 90 degrees Thursday and Friday. Of course, you'll want to check in first thing tomorrow morning on the morning news meteorologist Nicole Pape. She will get you all set up with the latest future cast model so you can time out that rain even better as you get your day started.